welcome to the fourth lecture of module 4. The module 4 is on absorption. So, before going to this lecture, let us have a small recap of the previous lectures. In the previous lecture, we have discussed the packed tower design based on overall mass transfer coefficient method. And the second we have discussed the pack tower design based of height of transfer unit, height of transfer unit. And we have discussed the height z is equal to n t o g in multiplied by h t o g. n t o g is the number of transfer unit and h is the height of transfer unit. So, the z is the fact height and which is defined as z dash by capital K y a 1 minus y m star integral y 2 to y 1 1 minus y m star d y divided by 1 minus y multiplied by y minus y star and this 1 minus y m m star is, is equal to log mean concentration gradient which is 1 minus y star minus 1 minus y divided by l n 1 minus y star divided by 1 minus y. And this term is known as h t o g and this term is known as n t o g. Now, in this lecture, we will discuss packed tower design for absorption of dilute gases. For dilute gases, we know just now we have said N T O G is equal to integral y 2 to y 1. 1 minus y m star d y divided by 1 minus y into y minus y star. For dilute solution we can write 1 minus y m star approximately equal to 1. So, this equation will be n t o g would be integral y 2 to y 1 d y this also equals to 1 minus y. So, this would be d y y minus y star. For dilute solution, both the operating line, operating line 
line and equilibrium line are straight. Then it is possible to evaluate this integral graphically or numerically. So, the assumptions we have to take assumptions one is equilibrium line is linear is linear that means y star is equal to m x where y star is the mole fraction of solute in the gas phase which is in equilibrium with a solution having concentration of x. So, this is the equilibrium relation and it is a equations of straight line and then second is the gas and liquid rates remains constant over the height of the packing. Gas and liquid rate remains constant constant over the height of the packing. of the packing. Now, if L dash and G dash, L dash is the liquid rate and G dash is the gas rate, these are constants. Then the equation of operating line line would be g dash into y minus y 2 is equal to L dash x minus x 2. So, from this we can write x is equal to g dash by L dash multiplied by y minus y 2 plus x 2. Now, the overall driving force y minus y star would be equal to y minus m x, y star is equal to m x. So, we can write this equal to y minus m and if we substitute x over here, this would be g dash by L dash multiplied by y minus y 2 plus m x 2. So, we can write this is equal to y into 1 minus s bar plus s bar y 2 minus m x 2. This s bar is equal to m g dash divided by L dash is known as stripping factor. Stripping factor and inverse of this is absorption factor. So, now NTOG is equal to integral y 2 to y 1 d y y minus y star. 
so which is equal to integral y 2 to y 1 d y divided by y minus y star we have got from this equation y into 1 minus s bar plus s bar y 2 minus m x 2. So, if we substitute this over here it will be y 1 minus s bar plus s bar y 2 minus m x 2. So, which is equal to 1 by 1 minus s bar l n if we integrate it will be y 1 1 minus s bar plus s bar y 2 minus m x 2 divided by y 2 1 minus s bar plus s bar y 2 minus m x 2. So, now let us take a simple example where ammonia is to be absorbed by 10 percent sulfuric acid from a gas stream containing 1 volume percent of ammonia. This should be 1 volume percent of ammonia in air using a pack tower of 1 meter square cross sectional area. 99 percent of ammonia need to be cleaned. The feed gas rate is 1000 kg per hour meter square and the liquid rate is 1500 kg per hour meter square. So, both the gas flow rate and liquid flow rate are given column dimensions are given, feed gas composition is given and the liquid composition is given. The overall volumetric mass transfer coefficient of ammonia in the gas phase k g a which is equal to 1000 k g per hour meter square delta p which is in bar that is also given. The absorption temperature is assumed constant at 25 degree centigrade the total pressure in the column is 1 atmosphere that is 101.3 kilo Pascal and initially the process uses 500 kg of acid from the storage for the scrubbing and recycled continuously. Calculate how long will it take to decrease half the initial concentration of H2SO4 and second the packing height required. The gas composition is 1 percent ammonia and 99 percent air. So, average molecular weight of the gas is equal to 0.99 air into 29 plus 0 0.01 into 17 molecular weight of ammonia equal to 28.88 cross sectional area of the tower area of the tower which is given is equal to 1 meter square. Mass flow rate of feed gas feed gas is equal to 1000 kg per hour meter square. So, which is equal to 1000 divided by 28.88 is the average molecular weight of the gas will be k mole per hour meter square which is equal to 
thirty four point six three k mole per hour meter square. Now, the ammonia entering with the feet ammonia entering with feet is equal to 34.63 multiplied by 1 percent k mole per hour meter square. So, this is equal to 0.3463 k mole per hour meter square. Now, ammonia absorbed is 99 percent, 99 percent of this entering feed composition or ammonia should be absorbed. So, ammonia absorbed would be 34.63 into 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.99. So, this mass kilo mole per hour meter square which is equal to 3.3428 k mole per hour meter square. Now, the ammonia leaving leaving the tower is equal to 0 0.3463 minus 0 0.3428 this minus this entering and absorb which is leaving. So, this much kilo mole per hour meter square which is equal to 0 0.035 k mole per hour meter square. Now, the total gas leaving the tower is total gas leaving the absorption tower would be equal to the entering 3 4.63 minus the absorbed ammonia 0.3428 this much k mole per hour meter square. So, which is equal to 34.29 k mole per hour meter square. Now, the mole fractions of ammonia in the exit gas mole fraction of ammonia in the exit which is y 2 is equal to point not not three five divided by thirty four point two nine which is equal to point not 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 one not two and in feet y one is equal to 1 percent that is 0 0.01. In feet the ammonia 
ammonia is y 1 which is 0 0.01. Now, we will calculate the time required to decrease concentration of the acid which is sulfuric acid to its half of its value from the initial concentration. The initial concentration of sulfuric acid was 10 percent H2SO4. Now, the amount of H2SO4 amount of sulfuric acid in the liquid at the beginning is equal to 500 kg into 10 percent that is 0 0.10 which is equal to 50 kg which is equal to 50 divided by 98 is the molecular weight for sulfuric acid. So, which is equal to 0 0.5102 kilo mole. Now, if we look into the reaction twice ammonia plus H 2 S O 4 N H 4 2 S O 4. So, 2 moles of ammonia ammonia reacts with H 2 S O 4. Now, the acid consumed per hour is equal to mole of ammonia absorbed divided by 2. So, mole of ammonia absorbed is if we go back we can see the mole of ammonia absorbed is 0.3428 this is the mole of ammonia absorbed. So, 0.3428 divided by 2 is equal to 0.1714 k mole. So, the time of consumption of 50 percent acid time of consumption of 50 percent acid would be equal to 0 0.5102 into 0.5 divided by 0.1714 hours which is equal to 1.49 hours. Next, the second part uh, we will discuss to calculate the height of the absorption tower. We will discuss part B, fit concentration of ammonia is very low. So, we can assume one minus y m star approximately equal to one and the gas rate 
which is g dash that is also approximately constant. So, we can calculate H T O G H T O G which is equal to g dash divided by k capital K y a bar into 1 minus y star m which we can write g dash divided by k g a bar p t. So, if we substitute which is 34.63 g dash k mole per hour meter square divided by k g a is 1000 divided by 17 k mole per hour meter cube bar into 1.013 bar. So, which is equal to 0 0.5812 meter. Now, we have to calculate NTOG then we can calculate the height of the packing required. Since ammonia concentration in the solution is very low we can write 1 minus y star m divided by 1 minus y approximately equal to 1 and y star is equal to 0 since the ammonia is instantaneously absorbed by sulfuric acid here is instantaneously absorbed by H2SO4. So, the vapor pressure of ammonia over the solution is 0. So, the vapor pressure of ammonia over the solution is 0. Now, NTOG is equal to integral y 2 to y 1 1 minus y star m d y divided by 1 minus y into y minus y star. Now, this part is 1 1 minus y star m by 1 minus y this part is 1. So, this part going to be 1 and y star is 0. So, we can this is 0. So, this would be integral y 2 to y 1 d y by y. So, which is equal to ln y 1 by y 2 which is we can write ln 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.000102 which is equal to ln 92.04 and the uh, NTOG would be 4.58 3, 4. So, the height of the packing required
required is equal to H T O G into N T O G which is equal to 0 0.5812 multiplied by 4.5834 meter which is essentially 2.665 meter. This way for dilute solution we with some assumptions we can calculate the packing height required for the particular operations. Now, we will start the packed over design for absorption of concentrated mixture. The simplified procedure which we have discussed for dilute gas mixture is applicable for the solute concentration both in gas phase and in the liquid phase less than 10 percent that is mole fractions less than 0.1 because at that concentration the operating line and the equilibrium line we can assume straight line and we can do the calculation. For concentrated gas mixture operating line and equilibrium line they are not linear or straight line they are curved and the values of overall mass transfer volumetric mass transfer coefficient that is k y dash a and k x a this may vary with that total flows. So, design equations must be integrated either graphically or numerically design equation must be integrated graphically or numerically. We know that z is equal to g dash divided by k y a bar 1 minus y star m this is h t o g multiplied by n t o g y 2 to y 1 1 minus y star m into d y divided by 1 minus y y minus y star which is equal to we can write h t o g into n t o g. A simplified form of this equation we can obtain by approximating 1 minus y star m if we approximated this to the logarithmic mean which is equal to 1 minus y star plus 1 minus y 
divided by 2. So, then N T O G will be simplified and we can write integral y 2 to y 1 into 1 minus y star plus 1 minus y divided by 2 into 1 minus y into y minus y star d y, which we can write is equal to integral y 2 to y 1 2 into 1 minus y plus y minus y star d y divided by 2 into 1 minus y into y minus y star. So, from this n t o z we can write integral y 2 to y 1 d y divided by y minus y star plus half integral y 2 to y 1 d y by 1 minus y. So, we can write integral y 2 to y 1 d y y minus y star plus half ln 1 minus y 2 divided by 1 minus y 1. So, at the top of the tower both y and y star at the top of the tower. these are very small small then integrand of the previous equation would be very large integrand very large So, the integration becomes very difficult. In this case, numerical integration would be convenient if we define the term y 2 to y 1 d y divided by y minus y star is equal to integral y 2 to y 1 multiplied y in numerator and denominator. So, we multiply y by y minus y star into d y by y. So, we can write integral y 2 to y 1 y by y minus y star into d of l n y. Now, let us take a similar example as we discussed for dilute solution. We will take the concentrated solutions of ammonia. The ammonia is to be absorbed by water from air containing 10 mole percent of ammonia at 28 degree centigrade and 1 atmosphere pressure using the similar pack tower of 1 meter square cross sectional area and 99 percent of ammonia removal is desirable. The feed gas rate is 100 kilo mole per hour meter square, the water rate is 200 kilo mole per hour meter square. 
the overall volumetric mass transfer coefficient of ammonia in the gas phase K Y A is given 120 kilo mole per hour meter cube delta Y. Now, we have to determine the packing height required since it is concentrated solution we need to have the equilibrium relations because the equilibrium line curved in nature. So, this is the equilibrium relation where P t is the total pressure in atmosphere a b is the vapor pressure of water at a given temperature that means at 28 degree centigrade, x is the mole fraction of the solute in the liquid phase and y star is the equilibrium mole fractions of ammonia in air. Now, let us see for the feed gas. For feed gas, the feed gas rate which is given G 1 dash which is given 100 k mole per hour meter square. Mole fractions of ammonia, mole fraction of ammonia in the feed is equal to which is y 1 is equal to 0.2. So, this is 20 percent. So, 0.2 is the mole fractions of ammonia and ammonia entering into the feed ammonia entering into the feed is equal to 100 into 0.2 which is equal to 20 k mole per hour meter square. Now, air entering with the feed is 80 percent, air is 80 percent, air entering with the feet is 100 into 0.8 is equal to 80 k mole per hour meter square which is equal to G s dash. Now, ammonia absorbed is equal to 100 multiplied by 0 0.2 into 0.99 is equal to 19.80 k mole per hour meter square. Now, if we look into the ammonia which is entering ammonia entering would be 20 minus 19.8 which is equal to 0.2 k mole per hour meter square. So, exit gas rate G 2 dash would be G s dash plus 0.2 which would be 80 plus 0.2 and is would be equal to 80.2 k mole per hour meter square. Now, concentration of the ammonia in the outlet that is y 2 would be 0 0.2 divided by 80 plus 0 0.2 which is equal to 0 0.0025. Now, the equilibrium relation is given. So, which is L n P t minus f into 1 minus x y star divided by 55.5 x is equal to 4.499 minus 1047 
divided by T. So, T is here 3 naught 1 K and F is vapor pressure at 28 degree centigrade which is 28.3 by 760 atmosphere which is around 0 0.0372 atmosphere. So, if we put these values we will get the equilibrium relation is Y star would be equal to 1.198 x by 1 minus x. So, this is the equilibrium relation and then we can look into the liquid phase, the liquid phase water rate. So, liquid phase water rate is given 200 m mole per hour meter square which is L s dash and ammonia absorbed 19.8 k mole per hour meter square liquid phase concentration x 1 is 19.8 divided by 200 plus 19.8 which is 0 0.0901 and x 2 is 0 since the inlet concentration inlet feed water is ammonia free. So, now, if we look into the operating line, operating line is G s dash y 1 by 1 minus y 1 minus y by 1 minus y is equal to L s x 1 by 1 minus x 1 minus x by 1 minus x. If we substitute, we will get y by 1 minus y it is equal to 2.5 x by 1 minus x plus 0 0.0025. Now, NTOG is equal to integral y 2 to y 1 y by y minus y star d l n y plus half l n 1 minus y 2 by 1 minus y 1. So, we have to evaluate this integral and then select a value evaluate integral select a value y which is between 0 0.0025 greater than equal to y greater than equal to 0 0.2. Then we can calculate the bulk liquid concentration calculate x from the operating line equation. and then include in the equilibrium relation obtain corresponding equilibrium concentration. Now, if we do this, these are the values we can assume, this is the y star we can get and this is y by y minus y star and this is ln y. If we graphically integrate then we can get area under the curve, area is equal to 7.83. So, NTOG would be 7.83 plus half ln 1 minus 0 0.0025 divided by 1 minus 0 0.2 which would be 7.94.
Now, k y bar a which is given 120 k mole per hour meter square delta y. So, we can calculate average gas flow rate. which is g dash would be g 1 dash plus g 2 dash divided by 2 and this if we include it will be 90.1 k mole per hour meter square delta y. So, h t o g would be 90.1 divided by 120 which is point 751 meter. So, the packing height packing height would be N T O G into H T O G which is equal to 7.94 multiplied by 0 0.751 and we will get around 5.8 3 meter. Thank you.